seizes on it. Conte into the path of Lamar. And that was a miscued cross, which was awkward for Tom Heaton, not least because it was totally unexpected, indeed unintended. It was. He's looked up. He's trying to find Giroud in the penalty area. He's miskicked it. He's got a, a big dip on it as well. And Tom Heaton did well just to cover himself on that near. Belly poked into Giroud goes on for the return, which John Stones is alert to. Control there from Pogba. Beautiful, was he, Eddie? Beautiful. And his cross. Jones has made a very confident start for England at the back. A little risky from the two Spurs players, Trippier and Dyer. Pogba into a Giroud is offside. That won't count. He got a brilliant goal in Stockholm on Friday night. He doesn't believe he's offside, but the flag was up pretty quickly. John Stones is just about stepping up with the foot. Var is uh, earpiece. And then he's got a choice of either taking their first or so going to look at the screen himself. Here's Mbappe. Great chance for Dembele. What a miss. Usman Dembele. Just trying to pick his spot with his unfavoured right foot after Kylian Mbappe here got clear. Great ball from Pogba. Mbappe tees him up and it comes across his body. It's a difficult technique to open his foot and try and pass it into the uh, right-hand corner. It might have been better just putting his foot through. Just held back, but France have the ball, so the referee waves play on. Conte fans, Lamar. Now Mbappe is onside here. Kylian Mbappe! Stopped that by the right foot of Tom Heaton. Mbappe trying to fool him. This is the channel he loves to play in, in that inside left channel. Look at this for a, well, both players go for the dummy. Really should be going across the goal, but a good save from Heaton on the near post of his foot. Nick Sterling. There's a challenge there by Conte, but it's come for Bertrand. It's a speculative effort, but Maurice was scrambling and England have a corner. That's a good effort, isn't it? Yeah, he's hit the target. It's forced Luis to come across. Conte actually played the ball for Sterling, actually, to Varane. And uh, Bertrand has not really caught it, has he? He has to top it around, though. Daniel's having his shirt pulled as Bertrand delivers. And Cahill heads down and Dyer! Very far away. Four marks. The way the ball was won at the far post. Yeah, Kane having to battle up off the ball, but headed down. There's three or four of them there. Gary Cahill just cushions it down, doesn't go for goal. That's unlucky, isn't it? Very dark. Same England system, still a, a back three. Gareth Southgate did speculate about... Ali has chased his own pass here and he's onside and still goes on now as he... Unbalanced there by Varane. Yes, he was. Penalty has been given. Deli Ali was trying to accelerate away from Rafael Varane and there was contact. He's clipped it. Down he went. Just there, there's contact. It's a definite penalty. It's strange how Deli Ali got in behind the back four. He's really lax. I think they thought that the, the... we don't actually get to hear the conversation, which you often do in other sports in rugby cricket the uh, referee is going to show a red card here to Barat so he's going to get the penalty that's for sure and Barat is going to be sent off and that's what the referee wanted to know Here's the ball here, he flicks it on, Harry Kane doesn't, it looks as if he's going to go for it, I thought he was offside there, but Deli Ali's cute enough to continue his run, and there's contact made there. And if the offence is holding, pulling or pushing, the referee can still award a red card, even though he has given a penalty, the regulations were changed last year, and so Varane must walk, and England have a chance to equalise and 40 odd minutes to play against 10 French players spice things up a little bit here Harry Kane Tottenham vice captain against Tottenham captain Hugo Lloris Kane wins England on 
Soames, his second goal of the evening against his club mate. And the ultimate punishment for France, they lose a goal and a man. Well, it's a clever penalty. Harry Kane knows that Lloris has seen him take penalties time and time again. He normally goes into one of the corners. This time he said, no, my club mate knows where I'm going. I'm going down the centre. Very rarely does he do that, go down the centre. I think that's a really clever penalty. They're on a second successive World Cup. Four years later, they won the, the thing. Mbappe chasing the pass of Mendele. Of course, comes Butland. He's got the ball. Trippi has got to get it away and does. Deep it. Here's Pogba. Oh, he's got past Cahill brilliantly. Pogba with the low cross. Turner off. This is a wonderful save, isn't it? It should never happen that they get in so easily behind the England defence, but he's come out and timed it well. There's, Jones has just made a little grab, and Mbappe really should have taken the ball outside the key. Great skill from Pogba, gets in behind him. Sure, Oxley Chang they wanted that. It's one by Conte and Mbappe. Oh, it's in the crossbar. Lamar stopped on the line. Gary Cahill still and Mbappe. And Lamar turned away by Oxley Chamberlain. England survive thanks to the crossbar and a goal line clearance by Gary Cahill. Here's Deli Alley on the break. Foul by Parker. My word, what an opportunity this is. Great skill from the, the lad, he's just limped back on it. He's followed in with a, a good save off the line from Gary Cahill. He does that so many times for Chelsea, doesn't he? Gets him behind the goalkeeper. Clears it, but we got away with that one, didn't we? But it was a poor ball into Chamberlain. Chamberlain was, wasn't aware of... Mistake by Dyer. Lobar to Pogba. And here's Mbappe. Instead it's Dembele. International level for Usman Dembele, but England have gifted France a goal. Jack Butland is beaten, and England find themselves having to come from behind again. Well, they give the ball away too easy. It's a lovely first-time ball from Pogba. I think Mbappe might have hit it, but Dembele strikes it really well across the keeper. Sets himself lovely, and Cahill thinks he's maybe going through his legs. Tries to maybe make the block. It's a terrible ball from the back players there of England. They then go chasing the ball. Spaces open up and it's a good finish from Dembele. He's never responded to the initial mistake, did they? You see just Gary Cahill there, just going down with one knee, trying to think, but it's not. Now Sterling can go forward onto Ali's pass, but he couldn't play Kane in. 